Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to our treasure hunt in Farming Simulator 22, where I'm going around all of the three maps and showing you how to find all the collectibles. We are here on Ot Baileron, and in this map there is 20 items to go and locate. So, if you need a hand with that, or there's one you might not be able to find, hang around, I'll show you where they are. If you don't want it spoiled, now would be a good time to make sure you leave a like on the video, check you subscribe to the channel, and then hitting stop. If you've struggled to find all the collectibles on Elm Creek, there are three videos I have made showing you where to find those, and I will leave those up in the top corner. And there will be a future video coming out for Erlengrat as well. The majority of collectibles on this map are all located up around the town area that you can see out there in the distance in front of us. There is some around other parts of the map, but the majority are up over there. I am going to do these in the order that I located them in the map XML. So we will be jumping around a little bit, it might not be the most efficient way if you are on the hunt, but uh, I'll leave that up to you to figure out the best routes, the best way to go and find them, I'm just showing you the way. So let's get our treasure hunting outfit on and crack into it. So my first item here is in the bakery in town. It's on the roof, so we need to go down this side. We jump up on the handrail here, up onto the roof, cross over here. And we're not going up the ladder, we're going to look straight down and find our collectible just there. And there is our first one. Now it pops up with something. Many years ago, a software company buried their entire stock of unsold video game cartridges in, cartridges in this region. Try and find all of them. We just found the Fresh Fruit Farmers game cartridge. 19 more to go. Our second location brings us down here to Le Jardin de Vermeers. I think this is a farmer's market or farmer's store or something like that. And we're going to head around the back. All the way around here and we'll find actually an arcade machine. And sitting there on the arcade machine is our second collectible. Our third item, we are on the road just north of the main town, right next to field 18, and we need to get up into the top of the tower. Now there's no stairs leading up, easiest way I've found, jumping up here off the top of the car. Carefully coming over here, we need to make a jump up over the handrail, up the stairs, then sitting here in the corner is cartridge number three. Our fourth item brings us up here, just north of the farmer's shop where we were before, up against field 10 and field 7. Rather nice looking chateau. And you head over here towards this tree, and in the corner, just down in here, is the next cartridge. Directly opposite field number 5, on the left hand side of the map, is this house. We go around the back of it, we'll find a broken wall over here. And halfway up the wall, already see it there, is our next game cartridge. Our next location brings us out onto the little island, or long slender island, in the middle of the river. We're going to head right to the very left hand side of it, along this path. Now at the end is a little bit of a monument of some description. Ignore that. Turn over here on the right and you'll find the cartridge there, just under the edge of a tree. So the other end of the island, or what, just over the river from the island, is a train bridge. I want to go all the way out here and find the third of these cutouts just past the post here. And we'll find the next cartridge sitting just there. On top of the hill overlooking the town, there is this rather large castle or fortification. We come right to the end of it, we want to jump over the barrier, head part way down the hill. Dropping down here until we find a cave, and in this cave is another cartridge. The building there on our left is the sawmill. On our right here is a wooded area. It's a few paths going through it. We just want to follow this path here up. When we get to the T, carry on going straight through and you'll find this old structure. We'll underneath and then up top of it 
you will find an old bridge or something like that with the cartridge there right on top at the end. This is the cotton spinnery. You want to head straight down here and go around this rather grand looking building. All the way around the other end, this structure here hanging out, looking over the rest of the area, find a cartridge tucked down there underneath it. At the walkway into what is, I'm assuming, a castle or palace or fortification of some description, after we've gone up the stairs here, we need to weave our way up and around. Keep heading up here. Once we get to here, we'll take a left. Keep going up even further. Once we get into this little room, we just want to turn left and go up this dead end corridor to find the next cartridge. At the eastern entrance into the town, we have this little park here on the left with a few park benches. We're just going to head in to this, head around to the furthest park bench away. In fact, we're going to cut across the corner because the cartridge is sitting there just behind the curb. At the grain mill here at the end of the island, or sort of in the middle of the river, we head down here on the right hand side towards it, there is a bridge which goes on to the island. We want to ignore that, I'm just going to turn left right here around the building, head around this little edge of the island, back in, tucked in here, hard against the building is the next one. On the far right hand side of the map, about halfway down we have another building here, it looks to be an orchard or a olive grove or something like that, these trees out here. We head down to the very right hand side and get to the fourth tree. Just before the end of the building here on the left, we'll find the cartridge sitting on the ground there. And on the hill behind our last location, we're not far away from it at all, there is a trebuchet, or a slingshot, whatever you want to call it, sitting up here overlooking the map. Pop up on here and you will find the next one ready to be launched. And back up here at the fort, this is our third visit here. We just wander in through here next to this lamppost. We'll find one sitting here on the ground. On the train tracks near the river at almost the very extreme bottom of the map, we have another forested area. Head in here, find this rock, rather large flat rock, sitting in one of the crevices in this is our next one. Three to go. The lower end of town, there's a cafe down here where the boats dock. We run in here past all of these, in between these two inflatables that are leaning up against the building, and the next one. In the very top left corner of the map, you'll find the local observatory. We walk past that, we'll come down and jump over the fence just here head towards this building, round to the back side and we'll find our second to last cartridge sitting just there. At the pond here next to field 32 there is a sliver of land which goes all the way out into the pond. We go right to the very end of it, get up to here underneath this weeping tree. We've got our very last collectible. Game on, I'm somewhat of a collector myself. Here we go, we have managed to find all of the collectibles on Hut Bailaron. So we're here at the starting farm you have on New Farmer with all 20 cartridges found. If we go into the garage here and wander in, you will find every single one of them sitting there on the bench top with the old gaming machine. So if you've ever finished farming and want to come in, relax for a few minutes, you can come in here and jam on some old, what look like 8-bit games. Treasure Hunt, if you haven't looked at that already, as well as the Earl and Great one. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.
So if you've found that useful, you've managed to locate that very last cartridge you couldn't find on your own, please make sure you leave a like. Uh, comment down below, tell me how many you found on your own, how many you needed to use the video for. If you don't already subscribe, I'd appreciate the support. It helps the channel greatly. Uh, but that is all for me. Make sure you go and check out the Elm Creek 